Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Beverly Miller and I will be your instructor for this video. So we're on chemical texturing and let's get started. So chemical texture services. In this video, we're gonna focus on the three layers of hair, okay? Which is the cuticle, the cortex, mm -hmm. and the medulla. Chemical textured services. What is chemical textured services? So chemical textured services is when we change the structure of the hair. Okay, so for example, going from straight to curly or wavy or going from curly or wavy to straight, we're changing the natural wave pattern of the hair with a chemical process. Why do we need to understand chemical texturing? This is a great question, okay? We definitely need to understand chemical texturing, one, because of safety, because you can do a lot of damage if you have no idea what you're doing, um, because we want to achieve the desired uh, look for our clients. We want the desired results, so you have to know what you're doing in order to get there. We uh, Proper aftercare, you need to know what to um, recommend to your clients afterwards, you know, to keep the hair in a good state. Um, we want to avoid over-processing, you know, that'll cause breakage and damage to the hair. Dealing with uh, reactions that occur during chemical uh, textured services, you know, you, you want to be able to, if you know what those reactions are, you could deal with them. Um, advising our clients. So you want to be able to advise them of do's and don'ts, all right? And the last but not least, you want to know the why. You need to know the why. Why is the hair reacting the way that it is? How can I fix this? And you have to know the why in order to do that. Why the hair reacts the way that it does. What is the science behind what you're doing, okay? Then we have what effect does chemical texture services have on the hair? So the effects that it's having on the hair, all right, so if you're giving a perm, you're going to add curls to the hair. The effect would be curls, right? If you are doing a relaxer, the relaxer will, the effect will be removing curls, right? If you're doing color, it's going to be the effect will be adding artificial pigment to the hair, right? And bleach will be removing pigment from the hair, okay? That is what will happen. Now, how does chemical texture services affect the structure, the structure of the hair? So by breaking the bonds, reforming the bonds, depositing protein, um, removing pigment, uh, swelling the shaft and increasing the uh, porosity of the hair. And I want to go back to reforming the bonds because I remember when I was in school, I could never understand why they would break the bonds if they're just going to reform them back. But the thing is that when they, when we break these bonds, they don't reform into the same shape. They reform into new shapes. All right. So if it's straight, it's going to reform into a curly shape. All right. So that is what happens when you reform the bonds. All right. They, they reform into new shapes. All right. Chemical texture services are hair treatments that alter the natural curl or wave pattern of a person's hair through the use of chemical processes. So let's talk about these processes. So permanent waving, first of all, when you hear the word permanent waving, I want you to automatically think curly, okay? Waving curly, okay? So permanent waving is when we take a person's hair from straight to curly, okay? That is permanent waving, where we actually roll the hair on rods, permanent waving. Then we have relaxing. Relaxing is when we take the hair from curly to straight, okay? So when you hear relaxing, curly to straight, all right? 
So then we have curl reformation or soft curl permanent. Okay, where we change a tightly curled hair or coiled hair into a looser curl pattern. Okay, so there's a little difference with the curl reformation, and we're going to get through, we're going to talk about that as we go through these um, processes, okay, as we go through the videos as well. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so this is an example of the processes. So if you look here in the first um, process, you'll see that she has straight hair, all right? She got what was called a permanent wave, and now she has curly hair. So a permanent wave will go from straight to curly. Always remember, waving is curly, okay? So she went from straight to curly. Then we have relaxing. So this person had tightly coiled hair, and she wanted to go straight. So we took her from tightly coiled to straight hair, okay? That is relaxing. Then we have soft curl permanent, curl reformation, or curl, jerry curl, any of those names you may see on state board. But this is a tightly curled hair, right? And then she has looser curls. So what a soft, re a soft curl permanent does is it relaxes your natural curl to make the curl larger, more defined, okay? So that's what happened here. She went from a uh, tightly, tightly curled hair to a larger, looser, tight curl. Now, all of these processes here are permanent. The only way you can get away from these once you get them is to cut the hair down to the new growth and let it grow out, okay? So these are all permanent, um, processes. What impact do chemical textured services have on the molecular structure of hair? All right. So we already talked about um, the three layers to a strand of hair, the cuticle cortex and the medulla. So when we put a chemical process on the hair, what's going to happen is we're going to break the bonds. We're going to reform the bonds. We're going to be depositing proteins. We're going to remove pigment. We're going to cause swelling in the shaft. And we're going to increase the porosity of the hair. Okay? So those are all things that happen once we do a chemical process on the hair. Okay, so what is the cuticle? The cuticle is the outer layer that protects the inner layers. So remember we talked about in the, what we talked about in the screens prior was the cortex and the medulla. So this cuticle, which is the outside layer, so when you look at a person and you're looking at their hair, what you're looking at is the cuticle, okay? That outside layer that you could see with your eyes, that is the cuticle. Now, the purpose of that, as I said, is to protect the hair from damage. So in order to protect the hair from damage, this cuticle layers must lay flat, they must be closed, and every all of them should face the same way. They should all be going in the same direction, okay? So now, chemicals must penetrate the cuticle to affect the cortex. So in order for a chemical to even reach the, the cortex, it has to go through the cuticle. You cannot reach the cortex without going through the cuticle, okay? And... The a chemical is the only thing that can penetrate the cortex, okay? So you must remember that, that chemicals penetrate the cortex. Now, if we look down here at this first picture I have here, this is a healthy, normal cuticle, meaning there's no split ends, there's no breakage. If you see all the shingles, they are all laying flat, they're closed, they're all going in the same direction. Now, if we go to the second picture here, we'll see that these cuticle layers are open, like they're, they're raised, they're slightly raised. So now that they're raised and they're open, what that means is that this hair has received some type of chemical that allowed the cuticle to open up, okay? It, it's raised. Now, in the next picture, we see here 
that this is a porous, extra porous cuticle that is damaged. So we got everything from split ends to breakage here, okay? And this right here could have come from excessive chemicals, um, excessive heat styling tools like flat irons, blow dryers, curling irons, those things of the sort there, all right? So now we move to the next picture, which is severely damaged. This severely damaged, meaning that this hair can't, there's no, it's lost. It's lost. Cut it off, start from scratch, okay? Because the cuticle is exposed in some areas. I mean, the cuticle is lost in some areas here. So now there's not, there's no protection on the hair for the cuticle and the cortex. Okay. So we, once we get here and here, we don't want to put chemicals on hair like this because we just make it, we would just make it worse. Okay, so we definitely don't want to do that here because we don't have the protection that's needed to protect the hair. Okay, so now we're going to go over here where we have total loss of the cuticle, meaning there's nothing. There's no protection at all. You can't fight your way out of a paper bag. There's no protection. Okay, so this cuticle is lost here. So again, we don't want to put chemicals on top of this because we will cause major damage here, okay? So now what we would do in this instance is we would have to cut the hair. We would have to cut this hair and start from scratch, let it grow from the root because you can't repair this, okay? And once you go through these steps here, this is, this is the outcome, all right? The breakage. All of these have breakage, split ends. This is this is done, okay? This is damage. And when we're working on chemicals with clients, we have to always keep these things in mind that this is what could happen if we don't follow the correct procedures, if we don't have consultation so we can understand the hair and what's on the hair already, okay? You need to know what's on the hair already. Okay, so we always want to protect the hair against this. And how we do that is to protect the cuticle. We need to protect the cuticle so that the cuticle can protect the, the extra layers in the hair, the cortex and the medulla. What is the cortex? So the cortex is the middle layer of hair located directly below the cuticle. So if you look here, this is a cuticle, the outer part that we could see with our eyes, right? That's the outer part, that's the cuticle. And then the cortex is this next layer, which lays right up against the cuticle, all right? And this is where all our bonds are housed. Now, the cortex is responsible for the strength and elasticity of the human hair, okay? This is why we have to protect the cuticle because we have to protect the cuticle so that it can do its job by protecting the inner layers of the hair, all right? So breaking the side bonds of the cortex makes it possible to change the natural wave pattern of the hair. So if a chemical does not penetrate the cortex, it cannot break the bonds. Okay, so it and it has to be a chemical that penetrates. It cannot be a shampoo or conditioner. These things does not break the cortex, uh, penetrate the cortex and break those bonds. It has to be a chemical. Okay, so the thing about the cortex, though, is that the cortex is the, thick, the thickest layer, making up about 65 to 95 percent of the overall hair strand. That's a, that's a lot. So a healthy uh, cortex gives the hair its strength, elasticity, its shine, and, and its integrity, all right? So damage to the cortex cannot be reversed. You cannot, if you damage the cortex, cut it off, start from scratch, because it cannot be reversed, okay? So we have to protect our cuticle so that the cuticle 
can protect the inner layers. And it's very, very important. This is why we need to understand what's on the hair before we start with a chemical. We have to have con uh, consultation so that we can find out what has already been done to the hair so that we'll know the proper procedures when we're working on a client. What is the medulla? The medulla is the innermost layer of the hair, also known as the pith or the core, all right? The, now, the medulla does not play a part in the chemical texture services. It does not have a role to play there, okay? The medulla is missing in fine hair, but a lot of people don't know that it's not only just fine hair, okay? You could be missing uh, a medulla because of age, um, hair damage, um, physical and chemical danger uh, to the hair from like treatments like uh, bleaching, perming, or heat styling, excessive heat styling um, can destroy the uh, medulla over time. All right. So it's not just uh, fine hair. Genetics, hair types, a lot of people don't know that African American and Asians tend to have less medulla than Caucasian hair. Um, a nutrients and a nutrient deficiency can cause you to be without a medulla or less medulla. So medical conditions such as thyroid and anemia and other diseases can influence hair, the hair follicle cycle and alter the, the structure, in, including the medulla, okay? Not just fine hair. All right. And how would you know if someone didn't have a medulla? Well, the majority of the time, all the time, you'll be able to see clear through to the person's scalp. All right. Like there's the hair is so fine. You could see the scalp. Not, and we're not talking about from breakage or um, color or anything like that. Just very, very fine hair where you could see the scalp clearly, okay? I don't care what they do, you, 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 you can see that scalp, okay? That is the medulla. So healthy hair versus damaged hair. So here we see a healthy cuticle again. This is a healthy cuticle layer. It is compact and lies tight against the hair strand protects the hair from damage and makes it appear smooth and shiny, okay? So then we have a raised cuticle layer that does not lie tight against the hair shaft, cannot protect the hair against damage, and it's prone to split ends and damage, okay? So then we have the damaged cuticle layer, and this cuticle layer is missing, uh, and there is no protection for this hair at all, okay? No protection at all. So think about, you know, how much damage we do when we use um, a lot of excessive heat, um, products that are too strong for our hair, or a consist using products too soon, like you get a relaxer and you're doing a relaxer every three weeks, or, you know, every four weeks you're doing damage to the hair, Bleach, using bleach on our hair excessively, uh, the ends become very dry, brittle. So we want to be um, cognizant with what we put on our hair, okay, and how we manage our hair. All right, well, that's it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you learned something, please put it down in the comment section. If you have any questions or concerns about this video, please leave me a comment or reach out to me at hbbstrictlyeducation at gmail.com. Okay, following this screen is uh, some Q&As, so to help you kind of reinforce what you learned here today, and I will see you guys in the next video.